and have to fight for yourself. Right now, the way me analyze it, we're faced with an incompetent government and an inefficient opposition. And so, therefore, you have to fight for yourself because the government now really fight for you and the opposition not seem to be able to fight for you and the media is being either bought or ignored. And so I can identify no real group that is really standing in defense of the people or against the abuse of power. Greetings, 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 free people of this earth. I can only address the free people of this earth. Gratitude. Gratitude. What is that, Senator Damien Crawford? Gratitude, my king. Well said. Well spoken. However, our Indian nation in America is a specific set of art society who is fighting or, for lack of a better word, fighting, lobbying or who is addressing the issue of these free people, all free people, but specifically of this island. So, yeah, you may say you don't see no group and you don't see any organization fighting on the for the people. That's only because you are a politician, and that's the perspective you have view it from. But the Rastaman and their organization, they were always fighting on behalf of the people, or at least contending with this foreign government on behalf of the people. My one and only issue with the Rastafarian movement is that it's trying to take us back to Africa. And we are Americans here. We have been here since time immemorial. This is our home. This is our land. So we have been making a concerted effort enlighten or at least waken our people around here and not just around here but people at large and in general and by extension the diaspora over there on the mainlands and over there in the British Isles all of these places uh, we have island people all over the place so we might not be as loud as you might expect us to be or even as effective as you would want us to be. But we are here. And we will always be here. We are a free people. We love our people. So I salute you for your statement. But we are here, sir. We are here. The role of the opposition and the media is to ensure that power is not abused. And power, the abuse of power is not only through thieving and self-gratification. The abuse of power is also through decision-making that is not appropriate and not effective. What we see happening now is two years in, or almost two years, we still don't have effective plans and effective strategies for dealing with COVID. And the people who are being most affected are the people who are least able to manage the impact and the effects. Now, that is what is wrong with policy. The role of government policy is to make sure there is sufficient consideration for those who are least able, or what they call the most vulnerable. In a different circumstance, you have to have different levels <clears throat> of vulnerability. Sorry. So you're going to have one circumstance that women may be most vulnerable. You're going to have another circumstance that children <coughs> may be most vulnerable. You're going to have another circumstance that poor people may be most vulnerable. You might even have a circumstance where the rich may be most vulnerable. So when you look on things like all, um, 
where people do false investments and them things. The poor are really very vulnerable to them farmer scams there because they don't really have enough to invest. But you have to look as a government to say, how do we put plans in place that are going to impact and protect those who are least able to manage the negatives that is coming out. Now, let me establish something to you. A two things COVID do. COVID make people sick and COVID cause people fit dead. I add another one, COVID are full up the hospital. But that really come from causing people to be sick. So COVID are cause people to sick and are cause people for dead. Everything else. agree Senator Damian Crawford I agree but my question is this what is COVID what is the origin of COVID and can you as a public servant Senator Damian Crawford provide the people with the scientific data explaining the virus and its functions so we can get a better comprehension of what this this ease is all about. So I would love for you as a senator. Contact the Ministry of Health Department, that office, so you guys can come together and present the scientific data of this virus, this, this COVID. We're not just interested in all of the effects. We want to know what's the origin of this disease. And the moment we can ascertain the origin of this so-called COVID, then it would be much, much more easier to find a solution for this thing. So if it's a natural occurrence where nature produced this COVID disease, then nature herself have that cure. And if it's a man-made, production, then obviously the man that make it would probably have a cure. So this is just a question from the people, one of the people, you know what I mean? So kind of at least consider having the scientific factual evidence where we can look and we can probably do our own private research and we can at least get some comprehension of what it is we are truly up against because I'm quite aware of what is known as a program where the system itself, the governmental system itself will create an environment you know what I mean, just to again bring forth their own, it has a solution to the environment. You know what I mean? Where, irrespective of what it will be, change shall be the, it has a, the result, whether good or bad. So we are aware of program as well as programs. Sir, Senator Damien Crawford, gratitude, I really love the information we are bring forward really like that this is based on government decision covid don't lock no country the government decide to lock the country because of covid but covid senator damian crawford could you explain to our common folk people that you call Jamaican citizens. What is a government? 
because when you say COVID don't lock down no place, government, you know what I mean, are the man or woman in government. But what is the government? From where does that authority arrive? Is it not from the people? So if the government was elected by the people or the people delegate their authority to the government for collective security, then who is the servant and who is the master? I would think the government was put in place to secure the interests of the people. So whatever the government does should be for the benefit and the well-being of the people. I don't think the government is at liberty to just do whatever it, 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 it chooses. Where it only profits themselves at the detriment to the people. For one, it can only be governed by consent. So you have to consent to being governed. But here on the island, as you may know, Senator Damien Crawford, the assent to the government's delegation here on the island is fraudulent. Why? Because the voters' registrative system has never been updated since probably 2015, 16, or 17. And everybody, including I, who do not delegate my authority to the government or to any foreign power. Had a bird, what was, what was that? A voter's registration card in September 2010, I think it was. Come on, and that mess expired probably in about 2000, probably five years after. And that's the document that is used right now for financial transaction. Not even your expired passport can be used. But the expired voter's registration card can be used. And this is where the fraud is blatant. It seems like because I'm an old man, I'm probably seeing things because I'm the only one who's bringing attention to this information, Senator Damian Crawford. I think the whole system that is in place is a fraud, functioning fraudulently. And I'm not sure if you're aware of it. So if you can do some investigation to see why there is no updated voters registration card, however, they are keeping election where only 33% of the people participate. And the majority had no interest, which is 67%. However, the minority is still governing the majority. What is going on? However, I'm totally aware of that free will. And if you agree or consent to being governed, then that's what it is. For the people of the Awak Indian nation that set apart specific society. We choose to govern ourselves. I personally choose self-governance because we do have a right to self-identification, self-identify. We do have that fundamental right to self-determination. To determine our own fate, our own destiny. And from the basic information that we are acquire and I gather, we choose not to delegate absolutely no authority, no authority to no foreign entity, period. We don't lock no country. In fact, there are many states and countries that have decided not to lock. So therefore, that is a choice that is made. We're not really talk about if it's a right choice or a wrong choice. We have currently established what COVID do and what government do and say is COVID. COVID don't lock no school. Government decided to lock school because of COVID. But COVID don't lock school. COVID don't put a curfew. Government decided to put a curfew because...
gratitude again, Senator Damien Crawford. Are you not a part of that very same government who is making these very same decisions? I concur, I guarantee you're speaking out, but are you not, sir, a part of this very system? And if that's the case, what is your motive and intentions, sir? Is it because you're just on the opposing side you're speaking like this? It's just an honest question. However, I love the issue that is being raised. Because of COVID, but COVID don't put a curb in. So anything that you recognize may not be in another country means that it is the decision of one country or another country to do in response to COVID. Okay. So agree. we have to now analyze these responses and say, are these responses adequate, sufficient, and fair? The last part is what have been constantly ignored within our society. Is it fair? Now, when we look on one, I'm going to start with the different segments and the sectors and show you, say, there are things that can be done. It cannot be right that we have had a situation where the entire country has been suffering since March 2020. entire country well i would say most of the people of the country has been suffering outside the politicians i'm quite sure absolutely no politician is going to complain about what is going on because they are a part of what is going on or the politic called government consists of all of you people whether you're an opposition or you are actually in power you are one of the same your allegiance is to a foreign entity a foreign government a foreign power all your allegiance is to somewhere foreign to the people the country yeah you all want to talk about country but really let's be specific let's address common folk because there's all different kind of people within the country you know what i mean and everybody now have the same experience everybody now live in the same location so i really salute the message and information you're bringing forward but as a critical thinker even you will have to put on the, the microscope because you are a part of that body politic that is being oppressive to the people. The country is fine. The country will always be here, but the people are being oppressed by the very same system that you are a part of, Sir Senator Damien Crawford. With all due respect, my king. And the only time the government gave any financial assistance was way back in about, I think it was September or November 2020. Government assistance. Government financing assistance. What is that, Senator Damien Crawford? Remember, you know, our people are common people, common folk. When you speak like that, we want to know if you talk about money, when you talk about finance, what the government is supposed to assist. Now, what is that considered? Some kind of benefit, privilege? What about the common wealth and the common welfare of the people where every man that have a birth certificate is supposed to get at least a percentage of the national GDP. What kind of financing assistance 
when this government have to be borrowing loans from a foreign entity. And if I'm going to give you a loan, I'm the one that's making the stipulation of that loan, the terms and condition of that loan contract. I would like to direct you to the letter of what was that intent with the IMF where the government of Jamaica makes quite a few pledges and obligations on behalf of the country. The country is separate and distinct from the people. So this is the clarity we need. When you're addressing the country, address the country. And when you're addressing the people, address the people. You can't use both interchangeably. That's the subtlety of a politician, the trickery, word wizardry of a politician. So with all due respect, Mr. Crawford, Senator Damian Crawford, we need clarity, honorable clarification. So you have to be specific. You have to be specific because you are our public servants. Are you not, Senator Damian Crawford? You are a part of the very same system that government body politics. Are you not, Senator Damien Crawford? Salud. When there was an election, that cannot be right. And the only contribution that was made was a $10,000, I believe. That if you work it out now, have been about a twenty-two dollar or twenty-one dollar a day. May I say interested, my brother. Very interesting. Do not recognize the coincidence that this happened while an election was coming up, and nothing else has happened since then. What election? The same election that I tell you people didn't actually delegate any authority. They used fraudulent means to gain the people's assent because I am a living testament to that first and knowledge. I have a voter's registrator's ID that has been expired. And this thing is very much active to this date. So Senator Damien Crawford, if there's fraud from the beginning, everything is dismissed, null and void, vitiated, fraud vitiated all things. So the election we ask people. It's a fraudulent election, and I'm quite sure you're aware of it. But again, a man in your position have obligation, you have a public vote plus you have a private vote. And if I'm not mistaken, you're probably familiar, very familiar with law. And when I say law, I would mean the legal practice, guys, as law. So this is why we were kind of think critically. We'll present ourselves this way and ask questions this way. Not being rude, not challenging per se, not being disrespectful. I really love the information we are bringing forward. But the platform where you are is a platform that is being oppressive to the people. You're just on the opposite side of that platform but it's the same system if i'm incorrect you may correct me when the reports are showing that food insecurity is very high in jamaica meaning people are incapable to access food with i beg to differ you mean the people in the inner cities are incapable 
to access food, but the rural people who plant and grow the food have no problem. Seven Star General come by my place and bring some produce from the farm. So I beg to differ right there. You know what I mean? So be specific. You're a politician. So you probably talk about your inner city constituency where when they're hungry, they don't think about food. They think about money. And when they want food, they don't think about going to the farm. They think about going to the store, to the shop, to the corner shop. Those are the specific people you're talking about. Because you and I know the upper class people that have none of these issues where you talk about. Then the mind things stay just as it is because it'll benefit them. Senator Damien Crawford. We have to look at both sides of the scope, both sides of the coin, and then we have to rise above it all and try to, you know, evaluate what it is. Nutrients sufficient to be nutritious to their bodies. So even though some people are eat, they might eat food that is not nutritious, the dumping and butters of this world. See, and instead of the government seeking to make contributions to the people, not different from many countries in this world, not different from the United States with their stimulus checks, not different from Canada, not different from England, not different from many, 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 many countries in this world. And when people have said Jamaica can't afford it, that is not true because in the same way that Jamaica don't have as much money as the United States, equally Jamaica don't have much people as the United States. Thank you very much. I like that. And why is it we don't have enough money if we're going to borrow how much billions of dollars in loan? And when we are taking those loans, anybody we are getting loan need collateral for those loans. So what is the collateral that was put up for those loans? And what is the stipulation? Why when we get these loans, when I say hospitals being developed, when I say, you know, say more schools being developed, and not even just school, more, you know, say, we don't want to say apprenticeship, you know, that, that is a form of slavery. But it's more the, you know, hands on. So Jamaica not rich like America, but America have. 3 million people and Jamaica, 300 million people and Jamaica have 3 million people. America have 100 times the amount of people where Jamaica have. So Jamaica's need to contribute to the people is not established by the amount of money alone because you don't have as much people that you need to help. Now, as I said to the people, you go and analyze it. The government has been targeting a operating surplus that is only for boasting that when them can walk and say, yo, we have an operating surplus. That is what Andrew Wilness and, and, and the Minister of Finance will boast on that we were the only country with an operating surplus during, during the, 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 the COVID. But at the end of the day, that is of no moment to the people who are incapable to survive because of decisions that the government took and is taking. So if the government change the level of operating surplus that they are seeking to achieve, we can get about $20 billion available to distribute to the people who are suffering. $20 billion. $20 billion. Interesting some examples of the people who are suffering because we're not thinking and we're not planning and we're not acting like we're sensible and we are just a celebrate some look of crap and some look of shit that is happening in this country where a prime minister can go help out a look of one person with with a, with a look of hundred thousand everybody clap thank you very much my brother forgive me now i eat some fruits Watermelon, me have you. But here, what the man say, I think he might talk about the 150,000 when he gave the little barmaid somewhere along the way. There. And there was a young dude, a young man, where 
I say it's just a job him want and he really qualified and thing, but I don't think him get no assistance yet. So him basically I say, born him about the Prime Minister and your holiness. I said, boy, I'm quick for help out a little girl, but just a one girl in my help out. But me I say, isn't that the action of all politicians? Them help who them choose to help. Who know if that is the one I'm like a side squeeze or one I'm like a colleague side squeeze. Remember a bar me cheese, you know. And politician love go bar go sit down and drink. So I don't think he might do nothing outside of what all and most politicians do. Them take care of them friends. Just like how you as a politician, I'm quite sure would do the very same. But yes, you're right. I don't think so, boy, that are really the, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that both of you all are of the very same system that is oppressive to the people, that is actually raping the country, raping our natural resource. I think you need to explain the birth certificate system to our common folk, Senator Damian Crawford. When you have an next 200,000 people in a fear, same position, incapable to be helped. Where even the opposition have a bill, one house, you want to look at one person and say, oh, look where we are, look where we are, when you have another million people in that position. Politics is not no local one person thing, no local undoubting, no local come round the corner, come let me help you. Politics is policy. We're supposed to change things for all persons or most persons in similar position. This sh Watch me now. What about your policy? This is the problem. What about the law? What about what represents the supreme law of the land? Which is a charter of fundamental rights and freedom, constitutional amendment, April 2011. Endorsed and authorized by the Governor General. That is law. We are coming to us with policy. Your policy is only legislative act by a group of you guys who choose to determine the fate of the masses of the, the, the common folk. That's your policy. When the supreme law of this land, which is the Constitution as amended 2011, forbid all of the actions that's been taken by this political system, specifically this political party. The system is one and the same, and the law forbids certain actions. So if you now address it from that level, then why are we here? What are we really doing? What are we really complaining about? It seems as if, if your party is in power, they would be probably doing the very same thing because you're all puppets of a foreign principle. And that is a fact. Shit where we had to wear one man and get a look at thing with video and camera is foolishness and wrong. Some look, hey, come here, come here. Um, look what we have done for John and look what we have done for James. We have 500 and odd thousand people living below the poverty line. I mean, we have 500 and odd thousand people that live on less than $300 a day. We have people that survive and absolutely nothing at all, my brother. Yeah, man. I don't know how them do it. Because I'm there and I want to pass through and I said them want to put on a pot. And when I give them a strength and them put on a pot, I said, boy, I wonder how them are going to survive the next day and the next day and the next day. But they do. They do, my king. Yeah, man. However, I'm quite sure absolutely no politician have these issues. Absolutely no politician. And why is that? Why is it that the politician have so much more than what they need? Yet, this is where we are complaining about the needs of the common folk. Why is that, Senator Damian Crawford? 500 and 1,000 people 
for the day them have less than 300 dollars some day the heights of it near 300 and some day 20 dollars some day 40 dollars some day 60 dollars meditate if a man live for less than 300 dollars for the day a three meal him supposed to eat him have a hundred dollar meal now you say why the youth and the mind are going out of prison? All when the prison food is crap, them sure a three square meal. And the prisoner now have to pay a light bill, him now have to pay a water rate, and him now have to pay a rent. And let me tell you something, Senator Damian Crawford. The prisoner have big screen TV in my room. The prisoner have music system in my room. The prison have him phone in my room. The prison we have him laptop computer in my room. The prison we have AC in my room. You get me? I'm not no wrong with that. Because the prison have them home now. But what may I try to show you, sir? Them in a prison and them are live free now because them do a whole heap of wrongs and have to go pay the price. So how oh, you yeah, put some crazy amount of price on the water rate on the electric bill for the common folk when all of these things are supposed to run freely to the people so them not fear think about crime per se you know figure if you remove some of the them financial condition and burdens there from what people it will kind of minimize some of the stress so the man them now fear think about go look it because the woman them are pressure them you know figure if you bring some more clarity with correct knowledge which should be true to the common people them whole life should improve for the better opposed to Wanna keep certain information on the fair selected few. Politics is just that. No different from politics. It's just that. And you can represent the lesser of two evil and tell us what to choose. That's why we want specificity. Be specific. Are you defending the country? Which would constitute the landmass per se, or are you talking about the common folk where you are not connected with? Uh, I'm quite sure you are one of the uncommon folk here, because you are a politician, and you're not living at none of these ghetto, not one of these zinc fence people that can come knock on your zinc fence and ask for a cup of sugar. I'm quite sure of that. However, we still a salute you, Senator Damian Crawford. But again, some of us here think critically. We don't talk about travel and transportation. We don't talk about light bill. We don't talk about rent. We don't talk about water rate. All of which he is now stealing. Meditate. So when you have that circumstance where we have a high level of people who are dependent on people interaction, to survive the man will sell bag juice is dependent on people interaction if no people is there him can't sell no bag juice the man who has sell a school gate imagine the people and we are sell a school gate we have about 230 schools in a jamaica then see let us put five people at the school gate so we are looking for about a thousand people we used to make a living from the school gate since march last year no school gate not exists Again, get to the root, Senator Damien Crawford, and you'll find the truth. What was the implementation of this pandemic on a global scale? And then the choices where each state chose to make according to the policies where they might implement. And this government get a lot of financial benefits from a lot of foreign entities in the form of probably monetary gain so it's only natural 
the system I got use the common people as experimental guinea pigs. History repeats itself. You can check the Tuskegee information and you'll see where that's a governmental program. Government institute these things. Global Population 2000, Senator Damien Crawford, which derived from Henry Kissinger's Memorandum 2000, which is in fact the depopulation of certain areas within this earth. And I'm quite sure Jamaica is a prime target because some foreign interests have them high on this place. And this is why you have a set of people teach the common folk who is naturally from here, originally from here, what I'm called Aboriginal, that was classified as native before. But then rearrange the, the, the definition of words so we can't just use native anymore. We have to be specific. So this is what our people come on for. Not even just this specific society. Come on for in general. Have to go through on account of this system. This governmental system. This body politic. Which is an instrumentality of a foreign power. There is no independence here on the island. When you have a foreign militia with its heads of state somewhere else, not even on this continent, why you not express and explain these things to the people? I remember Peter Phillips tell the world, say, you have a right to self-identification and you have a right to self-determination. I think you need to bring forward this kind of information. You know what I mean? That's the United Nations declarations. We observe the universal declaration of human rights. And that is in line with the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms. The Jamaica Bill of Rights. These are the laws here. Your policy doesn't apply to everybody. People have to consent to any policy where you, as a body politic, are imposing. And when the people choose not to consent, then you are commit treasonous acts. Uh, you yeah, do a wrong and you yeah, bring injury to the common people. Don't mind about the country where you loot and rape and I try to give away. And a people make a nation for the country and the people. We say it's two separate and distinct things. So when you bring forward the narrative, Senator, be specific. Are you talking about me? <laughs> be specific. The generalization is fraudulent. It's ambiguous. So let's try to remove all ambiguity from our narrative so we can get honorable clarification and gain comprehension. Senator Damian Crawford. Because look upon the 100,000 people where the Minister of Finance has lost their jobs, including people who used to work for me, where me have to lay off. And many other people where they must lay off. Gratitude. 
including people who work for you, Senator Damian Crawford. You see the distinction between you, Senator, and the common folk? You're in the capacity as what? An employer. Because you have people where I work for you. And the people where I work for you is in the capacity as what? Employee. There is no equality there. You see the difference? Common folk not have nobody where I work for them. The uncommon folk get people for work for them. Now if we can bring up these common people to the common common, then now we have a level playing field. <laughs> so it's not the same, Senator. Your view will always be different from the common folk view because you have, you have risen from the common folk and now become uncommon. So what you're saying is only one aspect of things and you're still speaking as a politician from a very political platform where you are the opposition, Senator Damien Crawford. So you still have to be held to the very same scrutiny that we have a whole Andrew Holiness to. Uh, you're all one of the same system which is foreign to the common people. Make us look for people who are in the entertainment industry where have been locked for the last 18 months. I don't just talk about the artists because some of them they already have money and then still have money. I talk about the person who used to rent um, um, bar. Bar and bar activity. The girl is working at the bar. The one we used to wear the, the, the branded clothes. Tell us that these politicians love barmaids. You hear him? Yeah, man. Him still a defend the barmaid after him a bun and the holiness of boss a barmaid. And how much get you youth that are right now with all kind of degree and skill? And I said, boy, I just want a job in any time I get a good look of work, you know, I'm going to leave. And the little Mickey Mouse job them on half of these good people. When them a top mechanic wanna give them some work for pack shelf, and when them a pack the shelf wanna put them under so much pressure that they can't even, they can't even stay in the workplace. Cause them not conform to what they say them should conform to. Probably them hair is unkept. You get me? Probably them skin is of a different color. But them not still man. When we move all the labels, you know, come down to being man or woman. And not man, not have no right for dictating no terms and not create a destiny for the next man without his consent. Absolutely, no man not have that right. So when you or people subscribe to you as a politician, not everyone does, because a man like me, as much as you seem articulate, eloquent in your speech, you know what I mean? University graduate, I still wouldn't delegate my authority to no man like you because my brain work just fine. You know what I mean? We believe in self-determination. This is why we choose to determine our own destiny. We believe in self-identification. This is why we choose and express our own identity, our work Indian, in the America. So this makes us American India, as called into congressional documents. And Indian, like us Aboriginals, we are not taxed. No tax applied to us. We cannot even participate in a political system because it's foreign to us. And most of the people here on this island is of Awak ancestry, Awak descent, misnomer or Awak. We're not Africans here. Not all of us. Muta, Baruka may be African. May be African. 
but we declare ourselves American Indian on this island. We connect ourselves to our continental plate. This is America, the continent, and we are American. And Jamaica, as you would call it, Zamaica, as we would call it, is a state within the Americas. Yeah, man, it is a state within America. Some people say Americas because they must say, oh, it's an archipelago. And I concur. America is an archipelago. It, include, it includes what the foreigner would call North, South, Central. You know what I mean? That is America. Damien, Senator Damien Crawford. Close them for people. Matter about people used to do like um security work, um for, for, for events and entertainment. All of them people eh, they are now incapable to earn a living and have become poorer and poorer and poorer. And instead of the government saying, Okay, let us revive the surplus where we want to get, revise that and give them a one percent break so that they can get some some assistance. They'll give that to foreign investors, as you would know. But the opposition have the very same practice. As you would know, this is why you remove yourself from even the opposition. So this is what I'm saying. If you ever look for create a party or create a system, then I could hear what it is, what it is about. And I could see it be autonomous non-registration to any kind of foreign construct and then let's hear you step out there yeah man so we can stand with you autonomous yeah man not privately controlled there are no puppets here you know what i mean we're attached to no strings our service is to our people our specific society you know what I mean? The people who make this kind of claim. You know what I mean? The non-Africans. And we love Africans. And I feel like we are anti-African. We recognize their situation just the same. And we know their struggle just the same. So we are never against or anti-African. What we don't like is the African imposters. And when people are trying to tell you that you're African, when... You know you're not. However, people can find this tape out there and probably continue to listen, whatever it is, the good Senator Damien Crawford has to bring forward. I think I've made my points clear. Not really challenging per se, because he must say some good things, but I just think he's not being specific. Because words carry power with meaning. And when you talk to these guys, it might sound ordinary, but they cannot communicate ordinary, not in the corporate capacity that they're functioning in, that they're operating in, my correction. So you have to listen to them and break it down legally. So if you are defend the country, that's one thing. So if you are defend the people, that's something else. So if you are defend both the country and the people, be specific. No gimmick. Gratitude for your time. I don't think we have to go no further. People can find the information there. And, you know, take them time and scrutinize. But I salute your effort. But we are just critical thinkers here. Gratitude. I walk in the nation in America. Bold and brave. Firm and strong. Salute. I walk Indians. Nam yoho renge kyo. Nam yoho renge Yo, nom yo ho, renge kyo. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe. 
and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our path in all ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Gratitude.